So do yeah, it. so the review norms, thanks to those of you that are here on time. Um, you know, it, this, is, this is a big meeting. The, the whole purpose of this meeting is to get the three um, sort of school-based surveys ready and out the door because mm -hmm. I just spoke to Pierre, how do you pronounce his last name? Laflam. Laflam. Um, and he Kansas. has already has a schedule for us for middle school kids and the staff. The staff will get it on Tuesday at staff meeting and the kids will get it um, on Friday during a time in the afternoon when there's an unstructured time that they can work on that. So that's perfect. Jeff um, Thomas had told me for the high school that he would do it next week. The idea was the teachers would get it first so they would have some kind of an idea of what was going on. And then, um, and then students would do it in, during advisory. Okay. Andra, you're, we should just talk about when your staff, we're not, we're not doing anything with your students at this point, but when your staff should get it. Um, I mean, I, I sort of anticipate that we'll put out the staff one. K-12 all what the way out the at the same time. What is the time we want this turnaround by? It's not the turnaround that's important. It's just, just by the end of the school year. Yeah, I mean, I can put it out. I just, as far as, like, if we were all going to sit and I would guarantee they do it together, I can't do it until the week after next. Yeah, no, I don't think that. I think we were talking about doing it the PD days, weren't we? The 17th, 18th? The problem is I don't have I time. checked, and there was, somebody said there was absolutely no time One day no we're not to allowed to touch it's a teacher like we don't get to direct them they clean up their rooms and one i already have yeah. full day bridges math yeah. training for right. some staff right okay I so mean, if we can get them get i can them ask done. them but they'll I, be happier if we can if i carve out do time. it this way yeah i'll figure <clears> out <throat> a different time though. if we carve out time you're right so anyway so we have we have a, a road map to get that that stuff done now since we're only five um this one is the teacher andrew do you have an opinion about which one to start with uh, I think starting with t teacher survey is good. Okay. Um, well, let me, let me, before we even start, I had made a couple of observations when I started uh, working on these. And one of the things was that we talked about equity and how would we, we wanted to measure the progress of equity. And I had a, that is, is such a complicated issue. And to simply say, I don't even know what you would say. <laughs> you know, one or two questions about equity. So I decided that that was needed to be dealt with separately. I also thought that it was something that Jamie would have um, his microscope on at some level. So he may even have some data on that. I forgot to ask him specifically. But I just thought it would, if people want to, if we want to play around with a couple of things, we can add stuff to this. This is not a problem. This is literally what we're doing is adding and deleting. Um, but I was just, I didn't even know where to begin. I feel like uh, I just was in a Katie Novak training yesterday in other schools, much larger schools, but uh, in the area are using a whole, like doing a whole equity survey, right? Like it's not just a couple questions. Yeah, it's yeah. much more in depth or having um, people come in and do an equity audit of their yep, whole system. Those are quite popular um, these days. Yeah. So I just, I wonder if it's... Um, even enough to ask could a few you, questions. Could given. you just inform me a bit about, give me an example about, a few examples about. Equity? E well, I get it, well, but that's I, the problem. I it just can mean a lot of things. It's so yeah. big. So yeah. some of our trainings this year have been about microaggressions and just educating about what a microaggression is or isn't. and. Um, and just even the, the lenses of what harassment is and isn't, or protected classes, and um, how to be how, different gender um, identities and, and how to help support them and not alienate people who maybe don't even know what gender they have. So it's, it, it, I mean, that's like... Right, so and that's expansive. a piece of it. I mean, that's a based on relationship, but there's yeah. also equity of resources. Absolutely. Yeah. The whole yeah. piece mm -hmm. about that's 176 was kind of of centralizing special ed, ed into the SU right. was about making certain that there, there was well, there's equity right. in resource, both in staff and in money, yeah. in the smaller schools and the big schools, right. because it just being very localized, it was very difficult to make sure that kids were getting access to the same amount of support. So there's lots of, <laughs> that's why I couldn't touch it. Okay. And I just okay. Couldn't. Andrew. Maybe the way that we could approach it with this, I mean, I think, as you say, like if we were going to actually try and answer that question, we need to look at data. I think you need a whole yeah. separate yeah. committee. Yeah. Whole separate <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 
as far as what we're asking the teachers, we could say, is equity a priority? <coughs> or equity is a priority in our district? Agree, disagree, you know, that kind of thing. Write that down on your little piece of paper. And when we get to that section where you think it belongs, we'll put it in. And if we don't get it in by the bottom, then we'll figure out a way to do something like that. See, I was thinking equity, okay, the two schools in, in the union. How, how, are, how does South Royalton perceive Bethel or vice versa? And are we working the right way mm -hmm. or are we seen right. the same way, blah, 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 you know, that kind of equity. And we Not so much the inner workings of right. psychology. Yeah, <laughs> equity, but the equity of campuses. Yeah, campuses. that kind of thing. How are we, how are we perceived both ways? And I think, right. you know, I think we can have that discussion later in the summer and okay. kind of decide okay. whether we as a group want to go after it a little bit differently. And if it involves the um, teachers, then we, you know, they're back in August. This isn't due to the end of September. Yeah. Okay. We, you know, we could do something or we could make a recommendation to the board as part of the report that this one be, you know, that equity be thoroughly um, researched and, you know, here are the six different subtopics in equity that we believe ought to be addressed. Okay, okay. We'll just yeah. give Jamie a little bit it's more a, work. It's a little bit unfoggy for yeah. me, but that's good. Well, that's it's good. foggy for me. <laughs> okay, all right. So, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. Jeff, you're right here oh, next sorry. to sorry. Okay. Come sorry. sit next to me. Sorry about that. Are we going to literally go through this line by line? Or well, not? kind of, but quickly, okay? I don't think we should call this teacher survey if we're asking. Yes, thank you. Please fix that. Staff. I saw that this morning. Oh, well, well, that's just like Can that. I call that faculty is very staff? Very faculty. Yeah. Faculty. Actually, when you said teacher, I had written on my notepad, yeah. I put what staff. What about me? <laughs> I put staff. <laughs> that was my you were right so, uh, in staff. You were okay. right. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So I had, and then the other thing that I wanted to share, oh, um, we decided as a subcommittee not to ask for names or emails. In some cases, people were afraid for teachers, depending on the questions, that, um, they might not be forthcoming. But... Um, so but, we but we're, I think for this particular uh, task, we're more interested in what town, you know, where, where they're living and how they're, where they're from. And that is, there's a question on that that's coming up. So people identify what their, you know, what their home community is. You think we should, uh, should we note that it's an Note that we are not collecting, because automatically Personal. when you send out one of these Google surveys, sometimes you can collect... So should we just say that we are not collecting email addresses? Yeah, I mean, you can put it right here. The purpose of this survey is to inform a report to the WRUD school board of the outcomes outlined in the, well, there's a missing word there, in agreement and creation of white Email addresses will not be collected. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Can I have the word that I'm missing? The purpose of the to inform a report. Of the... Intended outcomes, I think, is the word. Um, and, uh, I did it. Yeah, the thank you. Intended. And then the last thing was, um, and I'm sorry not everybody's here, because the first couple of times we met, particularly the first, first um, time, the, the favorite rabbit hole was the future and how do we make it better and blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, um, I ran into Michaela Martin, um, who's, I'm not sure what her title is, but is also a law. <laughs> long, yeah, well, I'm sorry, those long titles, you can actually blame me. Um, uh, but anyway, I ran into her when I had the, my meeting with Jeff Thomas, and she told me that they had just finished, and maybe, um, Andrew, you're privy to this, they had just finished a very short survey with all students and staff. Portrait of a learner, yeah. Yeah, portrait of a graduate. So, and so it was like, you know, what do you like about, what's the best thing about your school, what needs to be improved, I don't have these exactly. And then, um, was there a where do you want to be in five years? Student support, but she's at the central office. She's oh, okay. essentially, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. You see her come into the office. She's, she's blonde. Oh, she's I, blonde. Oh, okay. Little pistol. Yeah. Talks really fast. Yeah. Who, yeah. Sit, who sits in your office when you're she's not there? She's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> one of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank, we're you. Being thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Michaela, we have I still to love you. 
But anyway, um, but I, anyway, we have that data, and it's and um, she shared it with me. I got Jamie's permission to share it with you. Obviously, can't share student names, but I can pull all of that information out. Great. So that's ours to use. So that's really good. So we don't have to worry about that. All right. So um, let's get cracking on this particular one. Um, on the role. That's I wasn't sure if we wanted to break that down further so that you'd have like classroom teacher, essentials teacher, student support staff or like paraprofessionals or interventionists who are dealing directly just, with students. Just make another couple boxes with those yeah. things yep. that are in parentheses. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know that we need, like it seems like there's a lot of specific things, but maybe student support staff okay. and building what support kind of staff. Business? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> because... Me, my, I, I was, I guess, a I paraprofessional, are. but a, more of a teaching yeah. assistant, mm -hmm. and I was pretty independent in, in my role, which is different than someone who's a one-on-one. -on -one. Right. There are different levels. Oh, my I don't know if we have administration as a separate category, too. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Sorry. I mean. <laughs> That's a different viewpoint. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> no, I, mean I didn't. Yeah. Mean, I mean, yes, no, I yeah. think that's much better than what I said there. Um, you call them paras? You call it what you call them? We do call them paras. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, and then I just wonder if we should have an other. <laughs> So, because yeah. if somebody feels like like you were just saying yourself, yeah. right? You don't yeah. feel like you're like a classroom teacher, and you're not really an essentials teacher, and yeah, I mean, I. I don't know that we need to have like each individual thing, but I would say there's kind of the the support staff that deals directly with students, and then there, so student support staff is how I would put that. And then there's kind of the janitorial, technical kitchen, kitchen admin assistants, admin, yeah, 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 who are yeah. supporting the building and supporting the school, but not Sorry. directly inter interfacing with students. Can I, you go back I think that. Yeah, I'm they, <laughs> That group of get? like kitchen staff and like Lori in our building have a, a really good insight because they're not in it and they get they can see it. Yeah, and for sure. they sometimes have to deal with some of the stuff that boils over. Yeah, can you add yeah. teaching up to the essentials? <laughs> Andrew? I thought I did that. Well, literally, yeah, literally. I mean, I'm, that's me. It's the outside looking yeah, in kind yeah. of. You know, like. like yeah. Who misused the bathroom kind of thing, and you're stuck cleaning it up. It's it's part of the right. part of the view. Oh, yeah. That seems Don't pretty thorough at, at this point. <laughs> That's perfect. My contacts keeps shifting, so I can't quite see it. They're good. I can't see it. <clears throat> yeah, he's type administrative. Oops. This administration and that includes administrative assistance or Well yes. you could say administration and assistance. Okay. Yeah. I, there's people that work on both campuses, so I think we have to add that. Well, but so we have check, check all, all that apply, yeah. so you can check uh, them yeah. both. Can you though? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All that apply. Mm -hmm. um, and another check all that you all that apply. And I put NA for you know like kitchen staff where they're not associated with the particular school, but deal with kind of all of them. I don't know. I think kitchen staff will pick elementary, elementary and middle and school, or elementary yeah. and high school. Yeah, do you want sense. to know elementary just, do you want to know by campus? Well, I mean, I think we can do that they by, say what campus we already have I'm the campus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. So I think that that's enough info there. And then have been employed in we started to, I didn't go back in and fix this, Andrew. And this district? Um, this or the previous district? Previous district. Oh, yeah. 
I think that was something that um, Emily had said. This district didn't, you know. Then we need to put a parentheses though. S on the district. I mumbled. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so those are all the different ways that we'll sort this. So then we have a section called Personalized Learning and Diverse Pathways. And remember, this was all came from the questions that you came up with that were somewhat based, mostly based on the Articles of Agreement. And then they would categorize them, and, or I guess I categorized them, and then you worked on them and, and uh, generated questions from those. So um, let's just, do you want to just look at them on the paper? You want to look at them on the screen? Do we want to? Go, do we need to go through it line by line? How about if I just read them real quick? The school provides strong personalized learning opportunities for all students. Next one, there are diverse and flexible pathways available that meet students' needs and interests. Next one, the school offers a broad array of educational offerings, and um, at school in the community, blah blah blah. We did check that when you when we get it into uh, actual survey mode that you can read all those. Um, and then, then we decided we're going to delete these because we aren't, we know we're not there yet with Capstone, right? Yeah. The, so I think we're going to pull out, we've had lots of conversations about Capstone projects. And um, we um, are doing I think the it. only place that we I, have I, it, yeah. But we have, like we're in the process, the kids are filling out the beginnings of it and we've had our first meeting and so I'm just throwing that out there yeah so my suggestion for what we <coughs> shifted this and then a couple other things are that were mentioned in the articles of agreement but we haven't fully implemented yet was okay. that we shift the question to how important are these things to do you think like how important are these things for our district and then mm -hmm. capstone projects um, integrated curriculum K to 12 that's something else that's coming down the line but isn't quite implemented yet it's, and then yeah right there so do you want me to shift it um, that well that's my do you think yeah think so Andrew and I I'll just so he and I talked about this I was a little bit concerned about saying um, how important is it and maybe more are you aware of the plans for these you know where that they're kind of on the horizon and I only say that that if you didn't know is it possible that a person wouldn't know what a capstone project was and how would they respond to that? Yes, it is possible. But they wouldn't know in, in the high school. school. So yeah, we're not there yet in elementary. Yeah. yeah. In the high school if they didn't, it would be more of a reflection on what they're paying attention to because Yeah. yeah. Well but meetings, that but that's so. important information. Yeah. I'm not looking to say, Oh, you don't know anything about it, you should. No, that's not what it's about. It it would tell um, it would tell us uh, You've got a new communication plan. It would tell us that there's a lot. Of, we already know there's a lot of work to be done there, but it would just confirm that. So the thing that would be funny is if we said, "How important is it?" And it's, it's. I know it's one of Jamie's goals, right? But it's an issue <laughs> yeah. Pretty but important. Yeah. Not important at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a good point. So, uh, uh, would you be comfortable with how how um, I am aware of the plans for capstone projects in grades five, eight, and twelve? I mean, yeah. I mean, the and then it's not thriving. Think, yeah, it's not that thing. Well, the other thing that I was thinking is that we could just leave it as questions that we know we're going to fail on, you know. And then, like, if we repeat this survey again in three or five years, mm -hmm. like, then hopefully we get an improvement on that question. I think we ran into that with um, Suzette, you and I. Remember, it was it, we kind of know what the answer is going to be. Yeah. But it's still right. There, it's like a it's foregone recorded. conclusion, but it's a yeah, visual, yeah, concrete, yeah, and it also is a way we can kind of judge whether people are taking it seriously. Because if someone just goes strongly agree, strongly agree, and you're like, we know we haven't gotten that rolling, so well, and <coughs> is my son really what he's doing for book binding or capstone project? Not really, kind of, you know, but. Uh, the only way I kind of know about it is from my daughter's project, which really was a capstone project, and one that, you know, it was quite a substantial project that They're she big. undertook to do. So, um, 
you know, it was, it was it was fun, but I only knew that that was the terminology yeah, that was Jacob's, used around. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. like yeah, it, it's they're not senior really. projects yeah. because they're we haven't. Uh, we haven't done capstone. No, I got one. Yeah. Like it's not officially yeah, a capstone. It's not officially right. Maria's yeah. was. Yeah. I'm gonna. The, I'm gonna like, grab yeah. it because we're we like were on testing the waters, yeah. and she Question happened four. to just, just happened to it <laughs> fit perfectly Stop like talking. a glove to what was going <laughs> yeah. on. So, yeah. Okay. Stop. All right. So I'm aware of capstone projects. I was going to do that a little bit differently. I'm just going to make a note to come back. Yeah, to come back to it. Where are we going to get rid of eight, nine, and ten? Or you're going to leave them there? <laughs> um, I was going to get rid of the next two. Yeah. yeah. And then um, there's a please share any additional thoughts. If I have the time, I will add the, um, the uh, section yeah. name the, the we're just coming out of. Any additional thoughts? on personalized learning and first yeah. confidence. Well, not that one. No? Wasn't oh, yes, I'm yeah, sorry. I didn't see right. what you were doing. Thank you. Copying, pasting. Yeah, yeah personalized learning and first confidence. That's awesome. There you go. OK. So the next section is um, Student adult relationships. Systems are in place to encourage students to have a close, trusting relationship with at least one adult in the school. Each student has a close relationship with at least one adult in the school. Students are seen as valued members of the educational community. Teachers and administrators include student voice in decision making. Do we share any additional thoughts? about student-adult relationships. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. All right, the next section. Um, teacher engagement and innovative instruction. Could you bold that? Or for <laughs> just like that. Um, so this was this was interesting to try to uh, tease out. But this is what we came up with. I'm excited. This is a teacher reading this, or a, a person. In this case, yeah, anybody. Staff member. An adult. So we're not yeah. Yeah. teaching. Yeah. Staff member. In our role in the school. And, assume that if and or role in the school, it says. I mean, we could just say role. I'm excited and engaged in my teaching or in my role in the school. The second one is I am encouraged to use my strengths and creative ways to enhance instruction. That was really a, that was a clear statement in the articles, pie in the sky, nice stuff. I regularly engage in best practices to improve student learning. Sharing of staff between buildings works well for staff. Whoops. Sorry. I meant to sorry. Should, should 18, I'm encouraged in my, to use my strength and creative ways to enhance instruction. I mean, if we're, well, I guess we're already Separating like support staff, kitchen staff. We do have it does not apply to my role in school. Okay, all right. All right. Option Just, there. Well, but I would say that I mean, if you're excited in, to come to work or that that you have ideas on how to do your job better, and um, and folks listen to you, then I think that okay. applies. We could all say right. to enhance instruction or the school. Where are we? I guess. Well, I mean, I think we want to keep it. Generally. Tied to instruction. Yeah. 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 Well, right, right. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah. I mean, I, th right, I think back. we can have questions oh, that don't answers. apply to I see what you say. Okay. Anyway, I, I didn't want to get in the weeds on that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> that's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> the weeds. Until the weeds. I say no. Hey. I'm so sorry I'm late, guys. Oh. 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 
Okay, yeah. so there's two um, there's two questions about yeah, sharing yeah, yeah. staff. I mean, Switch. sharing. Sharing of staff between buildings works well for staff, and then there's sharing of staff between buildings works well to improve opportunities for students. And then there's the please share any additional thoughts. Section 5 was technology in education. The school provides state-of-the-art technology to support the educational process. Um, I need to think a little bit for a minute here. We, we had, there were times when something different than um, strongly agree, agree, disagree, that stuff was not perfect and so we had researched and came up with thriving, progressive, developing, exploring, I don't know. So um, can you pop up one more, Andrea? Andra? Andrea? The school provides state-of-the-art technology to support the educational process. Is that the right? Yeah, I think we probably want it to be a strongly agree. Is that agree. a strongly agree? Yeah, I missed that when I was going through. And then I put it in automatically. I tried to use the automatic, and they put it in the disagree first. And it's like, oh, disagree first. Disagree <laughs> first. <laughs> so I had to do it all by hand. That was fine. That was fine. Disagree, strongly disagree. There we go. And then the, the next one. track of the did I did thing. I let's go back to the top of technology. Unless you want to do that right now. Okay. No. Damn. I went too far, sorry. I went too far. Okay. I didn't bring. So the school provides state of the art technology to support the educational process. And then the next one okay. is technology is effectively used to ensure students are competitive after high school. And that's another one that makes sense. I was going to just say that changed. you want to switch that too. So. Yeah. <coughs> there shouldn't be very many of those. Let me run back to that. How about I'm writing these down. This is teacher. So, tech, fix options. Okay. I'll get that. School structures. Whoops. That got is in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that. I was moving them. Oh, yeah. Uh, we actually have it twice, so you can just uh, that. I can delete it. I can drop that one down. Is it at the bottom too? Okay. Being part of a larger system, WRUB, has provided me with more resources Sorry. and opportunities to collaborate. Um, can you get rid of option two? Thank you. Um, serving students from both Bethel and Royalton at the WRVMS was a good decision. That should have been agree, option two. So we need to add oh. agree. <laughs> Why would we want agree? Just select strongly agree and then do, uh, yeah, that, whatever, that works. Oh, I see. Just move, move agree agreed. above and disagree now. I can fix it. <coughs> we can fix it later. What question is that? I'll go back. <laughs> Pay no attention. There we go. There we go.
Is that the right larger system, Andrew? Is this school district WRUD? Yes. Okay. Um, serving students, then serving students from both Bethel and Royalton at the WRVMS was a good decision. And then similarly, serving students from both Bethel and Royalton at the WRVHS was a good decision. So what are we going to do if they say no? I mean, well, like, do we, should we really even ask that? Well, they have an option at the bottom. Remember, they're going to have another, tell me more. Do you have any other comments? Okay. And I think that what that happened, you know, what we'll be able to tell what town, what roles, you know, we won't we'll be able to tell who, who's saying but we'll see why. if it's, you know, if it's, a, if it's just a scattering of people or if it seems to have, it seems to be based in one community more than another, I just think it'll give us a little bit of, mm. but this was a big one that, you know, it's a big rabbit hole, but. We and we're going to jump into the rabbit hole too the, then also. Yep, for the middle later. school one, is that underlined up there? I think so. I, fi I, I underlined oh, it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I did that to remind myself. On the paper, so. Are we going to yeah. jump into the rabbit hole of keeping elementary kids at each campus was a good idea, a good decision too? Mm -hmm. I mean. Well, that's what I was wondering. That's gonna ask really one of the things I wonder about how we kind of what I was gonna, put this in here. To, that to, was going into the, I think that that's slated to go into the family one. The family's not. Or family and community ones. Family and community, which is the next one that's going to be built. Because that's not a kid decision. But this is, it well, could this be is a feedback staff. of this the people that go between two campuses. Right, right. I guess that's how I look at it, too. Say that again, I didn't. So this is the faculty and staff. Yeah. So you would get the feedback of the people that are going between two campuses or the people that are one first grade teacher alone on one campus. Like, do I think it was a good decision that they didn't merge the elementaries? Wouldn't it? Somebody might say, yeah, I think it was. But if we're asking point blank about middle school and high school, why wouldn't we ask the question about I don't have an answer to that. No, that's a good point. Yeah, sure. I, I, we can certainly that, do that. that. We can certainly do that. We can add one right I here. one I noticed with the survey, too, and just in general, broad strokes that if to uh, we're, we're doing this students and I guess we're doing all parents but is it for those that don't have middle school or high school kids are we going to survey those elementary parents so sorry uh, no that's we were you know, surveying all yeah. parents oh, all parents. Parents. okay all it's right. not all a parents. middle school okay. and yeah. high school so well. let's add one here yeah. um, but so it's, it's before 28 let's put um, serving students from both Bethel and Royalton in separate elementary schools was a good decision. Yep. Right. And I, you know, I, and this is my bias. I went to the bottom. Of this that I, um, whoops, it's okay. I'm bring my phone <laughs> um, here, there it is. Is that um, that it's best for kids, that it's best for students. I always, that's my own well, personal bias. Right, we I think all it's most get our adult I think it's both things in the way or whatever, but, but right. That's right, how but, we really but in this, you know, is, is this yeah. the serving students, was that, you know, it's again, it's serving students, was that best, not, is it best for staff? And I'm not oh gosh, trying to no. diss staff, it's just that, that our goal is about doing what's best for kids. So I think I'm gonna move this up. Talking amongst you. There, that's good. <laughs> Oop, too far. I think you went okay. one too far. Did I still go one too far? Yeah. Sorry. You know, down maybe um did I ask the middle school for you can put it before the middle school wherever that one is? Yeah, no, I think that's right now. Okay, so part of the greater system is good. Separate. Elementary. Middle school. Middle, high school. High school. Okay, that's good. Now, trans mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> transition plans. Um, the student transition plan from elementary to middle school is robust and effective. This is many. Remember, this is teachers that are asking. I strongly this. agree. There you go. <laughs> yeah. 
And then the student transition plan from middle school to high school is robust and effective. I mean, just a typo under on the transition plan when it's agree or agree or I, I think I like that word. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I agree or agree or we agree or agree down here too. Oh, yeah. And down here we have the option, option to too. Yeah. We're having a hard time with agree. When I was working on this this afternoon, when I was tired, it was like I would, you know, I'd be typing away and I'd look up and my hands would have been one, <laughs> one key off. And it's like, draw my roll, I think it's looking at this degree so great. So okay. we ask that serving at each of the schools was the right decision. The transition right. plan. Then we have. The K-5 grade structure at the elementary schools is best for students. I know there's been some talk about, I think, or I've heard anyway, that the six, you know, does six, so keep going. And um, do we not want to say pre-K? Oh, you can absolutely say that. Okay. Pre-K. Because we really are pre-K to five. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That yeah, was that's true. Because then I ask the same question of the 6 to 8 grade structure at the middle high school. The middle school is best for students. And, um, and then the last one is the 9-12, which is sort of a given, but you know, there's been some interesting thoughts about that. Uh, so it's just worth asking. And do, I don't know, do um, eighth graders and then we have take double, what, what? Yeah, double additional thoughts? Go back up. Yeah, take out that addition. Sure. Yeah, that, that was my wording original, so, so just trash that. I think Carlin's taking algebra. And then there should be another one. In eighth grade, but I'm not sure. There it is. But that's in Chelsea. Oh, okay. and it has like three like We'll just go through those that. after. Okay. <laughs> no, I do. I was doing that, you know, like... <laughs> Five, like a stem. <laughs> it's a little inconsistent. All good. No, no. Um, I don't think my eyes can do it anymore. I've looked at it too much. So before yeah. we move on from the structure one, yeah. one question that I'd like to kind of get an answer to is whether, kind of two things. One, do they feel like they're part of a larger cohesive whole? Um, so like rather than I'm just in the elementary, I am part of the unified district, like, you know, like, so. Okay. I'm not. So. One big happy family within. Right. Well, we could put one up. I thought I, got, I caught that, but I didn't, obviously. Um, the one where I said that um, being part of a larger. Right. So that was so good. We could that, put, that was. That's like, I, it provided me with more resources, but this is more like. I am part of a cohesive system versus individual Got silos. It. But I'm just thinking we could go back up there yeah, and no, add right. the question That's a good point. Yeah. right in that there. That was the one, that was what I had. I said, do, do we have opportunities to collaborate with col colleagues? Um, you know, and are these times effective? Yeah, that's what I noticed is, is we, we kind of said they collaborate, but we didn't didn't say, do, do you feel like you have time to just collaborate? Usually it's around PD or something else, so. I feel like I'm part of a larger cohesive system. You know, I, I, that first question about RUD, I, no, I'm too far down. <clears throat> I don't know what anyone else, like Christy, what you would say, or Jeff. I feel like being part of RUD has provided us with resources and opportunities, but I actually think being part of the greater, the SU is what has provided I know, that them is, that is more than RUD. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's like the merging of the, the SUs for me. Well, maybe you ask it both. Well, having an SU umbrella, I think even from a maintenance, you know, perspective has has benefited us and, and been a, a, a better system than together, yep. separate, apart. Yeah. You know, I think. That was the point. You know. So being part of a larger system has provided me with more resources and opportunities. Could we take that same question and say being part of a supervisor, being? Maybe just at the, um, like what I'm trying to get at is, you know, at the beginning, we were definitely two separate schools. Right. No, I'm not working on your question. Oh, yeah. I sorry. Was, I'm, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to it. 
But we were talking about when Andrew said that even being part of the SU, so could you add WRUD, WV? How important is it that we have that? Could we just lump them yeah, together? I think we can skip the, yeah. I, I mean, the, what we're trying to assess is whether our merger was a good thing. Yeah. Versus, like, if we didn't do the merger, we'd still be part of the SU. SU. <laughs> so we're trying to ask them to assess whether the two districts combined has provided additional resources or opportunities. Uh, so so I don't this. think we want to have a separate question on that. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Okay, back to yours. I haven't forgotten about you. So I feel I am, a, so we use that a larger, or is this a, a yes or no question? Well, that's a question. We don't usually say that. I mean, yeah. I feel like I feel like I am a part of a larger. I think we could stick with agree, strongly disagree, disagree. I don't know. Collaborate with colleagues. Or well, no. I mean, no. like at the beginning, there's definitely the Bethel system <laughs> and the South Royal Royalton system, and inverted. there was so you know some yeah tension. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the question is, do we still have this tension of we're two separate buildings with two separate towns that are kind of like competing for resources? Yeah. Or are we all on the same team? Right. And it will be interesting to drill down and see if there's a difference in feeling. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or maybe uh, it's I campuses. feel like I am a part of a more cohesive system than sure. before the merger. They'd have to have been here before the merger to be able to answer that, though. Well, that's a very good point. <laughs> mm. Yeah, a lot of people are new and they wouldn't. Yeah. We need to. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> see. I'm seeing this as here are all three sections of the Bethel Royalton family, and are the elementary and middle and high school employees or staff, faculty, are we all moving together? to a certain point, not yeah. this one's yeah. inching forward and then yep. I want to be heard over here yep. or can you can a elementary school teacher in Bethel talk to a high school teacher and get their point across? Are we all working towards the same end point or are we still in our little what about tent? The, yeah. yeah. What about the word single? Could cohesive? Could we mm -hmm. add back up, please? A, an open <coughs> question at the end. Wait, wait, is don't get off here, oh. please. Hang on. Well, that's a um, I feel like I am a part of a single cohesive system. Andrew, does that touch it a little more? Examples. Yeah. 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 I think that that Mingle? kind yeah. of. I mean, we could do like and if you're trying to really do like that, like K to 12 it's, system. It's, yeah. Well, yeah. but. Are we all working a towards the same system end system with yeah. with it's um, common goals? Goals. So is common pre K to twelve cohesive system the common goals. Is that what you're saying? Was there a reason not to put pre K twelve? I don't know. Okay, uh, I, I'm Are missing. It. Well, just because if you don't say pre K to twelve, people might be like, "Yeah, my elementary system's cohesive." Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's a yeah. Um, like somebody goes, common, "Who's that?" <laughs> Never met them before. Yeah. Goals or our common, yeah, common goals. Are we getting closer? Yeah. Or another way of viewing it might be like my <coughs> my school or my class or whatever is a equally valued part of something. Oh, you could, yeah. you could add that, and then. So let's get that in there. We'll decide where okay. we're going to put it. Like as a, another question, you mean? Yeah, another question. Okay. So maybe my school was. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> Not instead of, in addition to. In addition to. I'm sorry. Right. If you, didn't you? Uh, you duplicated it. So. I did. I was. Gonna oh, okay. I was afraid you were going to hit. <laughs> was it the lead? Oh, you need to. Which, which right, I did I accidentally. Like, so what was I supposed to change this one to? Um. My school is an equally valued part of 
Yeah, that's the, good. Yeah, the system complete board. system. I the well, I think system. that we're supposed to consider ourselves all one school. So would we say my program? Usually we call them the programs, right? Okay. Yeah. And you can put in parentheses. Middle, elementary, middle, high. Yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> Is and um, don't. Isn't look. it fun doing that when don't everybody's record watching? <laughs> <laughs> I just want you all to notice that I have successfully dodged that My job is every week. <laughs> mm. So my my program. My program. Equally valued partner in the system. Or something part of the system. That's good. Oh my I gosh. like that. Thank oh, you. Good. That's really yeah. that gets at a couple Yay. good things. Don't do this stuff in isolation. It really <laughs> you can get so far, and then it's just like. I mean, it might be. Not that I did a lot of this in isolation. I did not. It might be worthwhile to say Bethel Elementary, Royalton Elementary, Middle School, like WR. VMS, WRB. What are we? Mm. Well, can't you drill it down if they say disagree, though? Because they answer about Well, I just mean that, like, part of what we're trying to get at is, like, we have two separate elementary schools. Do they feel like they're working together? Separate and, campuses. Not yeah, exactly. That kind of stuff. As opposed to, like, you know, my campus is getting neglected or something like that. That's good. I want to hear the answer awesome. to the question. <laughs> okay. All right, that's that's okay. all I have for this section. Good. I'm glad you um, stuck with it. All right, let's keep going. And we have some good decision, and we have uh, middle school and high school and transition plans. We already looked at those and. Six eight structure and the structures we looked at those nine through twelve, and then we have additional thoughts. Okay, fine. All right, section seven of eight. Now there was some question about whether or not to put these next two um, sections into one. Um, that matters to me. Uh, so there is family involvement in our school activities. This is, remember this is uh, staff looking at this. Community members are actively involved in my school. Certain what barriers might exist that have a not. negative influence on parents slash family and or community involvement in school? And then my please share any additional thoughts. It's supposed to be there. Get it out of there. Um, maybe what we could do is take the community members are actively involved in my school and move that to the community section and have this be family involvement. Have that section be family? Yeah. Hmm. Or wait, so this was, you did combine the two. Never mind. This is, yeah. this is good. This is yeah. good. Yeah. It's fine. Awesome. And then the last one was community connections and partnerships, oh. which, you know, in my head is, is a different thing. But when I was looking at the right. questions, I wasn't sure people wouldn't, or the statements, people wouldn't think, well, I just answered that. I think they, I think they'll know it's different. Community stakeholders instead of just community. The school has yeah. strong, you mean in the question or in the title? In the question. School has strong connections with the local community. I mean, that could be just about anything. The local community stakeholders? Stakeholders that... or... Who are you thinking when you well, say... Well, when I say stakeholders, uh, businesses and Well, uh, right. You uh, have, like, fe who... flexible pathways. We're trying yeah. to make inroads with businesses and that. So, I mean, it's... Yeah. I mean, I, I think, think it's okay to have a general question and then we can drill down on okay. that yeah. in a second one. Like, we have the benefit from effective community and school-based partnerships is the next question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And those were the only two I had those for teachers. Um, 
Go ahead. Yeah, I'm curious. Thank you. I'm curious here. I guess the question that I would ask, it's not there, is um, of a teacher is, do you do you want community more involved in your class or school? You know, I don't know if that's going too we far. We did talk about like, that last. Yeah, time. you yeah, know, because like did. what it's the reality of like how that makes your life more difficult, possibly, or <laughs> so I don't know if like if that's okay to ask, but just well, like, yeah, as I mean, an my... opening question is like, do you feel like you wish there was more community involvement in your my my thing would would be that this is the community school, mm -hmm. and so if the community wants more community involvement in schools. It's the system's job to make that happen. I agree, and I think that what I would hope that question would show is if there's a bunch of people that are saying, no, I don't, oh. that that would be the barrier that we're hitting. Ah, you know? got it. But I would assume that we wouldn't get that answer, but, you know. yeah, Looking back Thoughts? over the years, like when my kids were in school, and there were certain teachers that they were great teachers, but they did not welcome extra people in their classroom. Right. Yep. I'm sure it's hard to manage. Sometimes, yeah. I yeah. think it is. And um, so if, you're, if your faculty comes back with, yeah, it's a, we'd like it, or we don't, or at least finding that out, I think, is important, depending yeah, on, you know, who's, who's in your classrooms you know it might right. change over the years there Lovely. might be a teachers that welcome two or three parents well we touched on this before it's you know it's there's there's privacy there's safety there's you know background checks or yeah. not or what volunteer for you know like there's a whole gamut of well, stuff that you have to you know so we just yeah. make it but really we can go back up <coughs> to the, oh, the yeah. is it in the, the section before is that where it belongs i, don't know. I can actually speak think, to think you could i know exactly how it's going to go but okay sure. um i think that regardless we should probably yeah. plan for pd for certain departments it's more difficult at least in the high school level to involve community members and um, so like math, yeah. it's really difficult. I've got um, a couple right of the there. town um, treasurers who will let kids come in and kind of see how that works. But I mean, it's kind of difficult because when you start to get into people that you could use math, it'll be more engineering or you know, yeah. it'll start leaking over into the science department. So like some PD, how do we use community resources to enhance the math program? Because I think they, that's part of what where so, Mary is <laughs> right <yeah>. now. <laughs> Just um, looking at some of that, but this is so like um, yeah. I mean, I think like we'll. I think that you'll be able to. We could, you know, predict who's going to say it's difficult yeah. and yeah, it, absolutely. it causes it, there are barriers to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And then there are some teachers who it's not that difficult, but they don't want to well, expand beyond um, that. Too. I well, mean, it seems like what we're trying to do here, though, is answer what we want to know from the staff, which could be like uh, how much community involvement do you want in your classroom, well, like some, a lot. Just keep it simpler I would and just mm. say I wish there was more community involvement. Yeah. I would like more community yeah. involvement yeah. in yeah. my yeah. class. Yeah. Sure. Like just it. add it to... And we have to say even in my I class, think I, I think that that like boxes out some of the people who are asking these questions up. I think it's in section <laughs> seven. Because no. it has to do with family. Two, or we could put it in twice. I'm watching the clock. We have two more to go. They're shorter, <laughs> and um, we should be okay. But well, yeah, um, that's true about the classroom. Like we could have people with guard. Like we're doing gardens and st you know, like there's other gamuts yeah. of participation that people could. Yeah, actually, because if you said family, then that would be about families being involved in their kids' education. That's really not what we're asking. Okay. Um, on the family side of things, I think it might be worth having a question. So there's, like, the families that come in to help, and then there's the families that are actively involved in their kids' education as far as, like, supporting them with schoolwork and, you know, whatever. So, like... <coughs> Maybe a question about uh, 
my students' families actively support their education or something like that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be in the school to be supportive. Okay. I mean, there I are a lot like of parents. I feel like we're wandering yeah. from where, what we're trying to oh, do. Okay. But well, the, I, I mean, it's going back up to the family and community involvement. Like, we have one, there is family involvement in our school. Um, and I think there's kind of two different Do you feel varieties. the families are involved in helping to educate their students? Support, to support student education. Support no. student education. Yeah. You know. Or, you know, like there's, just, there's families supporting the teachers by providing their time and effort to support the teacher, <laughs> and then there's them being an active participant in their child's education mm -hmm. of... You know, making sure their kids doing their homework, homework right. 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 Reading, reading to them at home, right. the younger grades, and like, all that. Yeah, exactly. All the like, yeah. when I ask families to do something, they will do it. Right. Versus, like, you know, they are volunteering their time to come in and, and help. So, and this is connected to the articles of agreement, though. How I'm missing that, and I, I just don't. I worry about asking that question and making sure that we have consistency of the response because I think you're going to get different response depending on. Well, I mean, it did. Perceptions and values. It did mention family involvement, and in I'd have to go back and read the specific wording to see if this is relevant. Just that there's different ways of being involved. And this is something we could ask a little easier in the family survey. Um, or you want this is a teacher, teacher perspective, perspective that you're looking for? Yeah, I think kind of the teacher perspective on, like. Am I here working on all this stuff by myself, or are families like? Do you helping feel out? supported? I, I would by just say, yeah, family? by your by your students' your families. Students families? Are, your, are your students supported by their families in you know yeah. their day to day educational activities? And but that, another question uh, no, might be: no, no, no. Are are there more uh, fam families who are? Supported supporting their children than are involved in the school because uh, I think that in the end I we're going to have the same a lot of the same families. people both on both, both answering yeah. both of those questions. Yeah. Sure, sure. But I mean, I, I, and that might not be relevant though. That, it's yeah. just I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a difficult thing to to get judge at. or yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I think I mean because I, I mean I'm sure it's than, very variable as far as like I'm sure there's. Some families that are very supportive and some families that aren't. Okay. So I don't There's know how you answer. I think they are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Remember, you're on tape here. <laughs> I might be that family. But I think, yeah. I, feel I, have to keep um, I feel supported by my students' families would give us a, kids are an indication of. Yeah, like, uh, I think that's good. I um, something. Yeah. That yeah. we were looking for. So moving on, since yeah. my brain just fried. Yeah, no, I like that. so there's family involvement in our school. Yeah. Maybe maybe have that one go before. Like I feel supported my, by my student families, and then there's student or family involvement okay, in our school activities. Yeah. Right. And then that's a possibility. Uh, um, yeah, because I put school activities specifically. I added the words activities yeah. on the first one intentionally, but anyway. Okay. <coughs> okay. You good? Teacher, mm -hmm. pretty much ready to roll? Yeah. Well, barriers might exist. Please share any additional thoughts. We did the community connections, strong connections with local community. No, we didn't do this. I wish we had more community connections. And then the last one is um, students benefit from effective community and school-based partnerships. Is that the last one? Yep. Uh, and additional thoughts. OK. That's one. The others are shorter. Awesome. Yeah. Let's great. go to the high school. We have 28 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but I want it to be what you want it to be. So. Now, are we going to send this out to the teachers this week? Or? Not this week. Um, 
that it'll probably uh, well that's part of what we have to oh, talk well, about. I mean, I guess it'll be it'll Friday. be next week. Yeah. But yes. This coming week, I should this, say. And the student. I've got a I have a plan from here and I have a sort of not a specific plan. I don't have the dates from Jeff. But I think we could send it out to the teachers. Um, Early. I mean, it could go out on Monday. As soon as possible. We might yeah. not want to tell the kids we're not collecting their email addresses. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> the office. All right. So, this is the high school student survey, the grade I just finished. Um, do we need to add that we won't be collecting I email just, Oh, is that what you just said? I was saying we might not want to say oh, that. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll just leave that. <laughs> okay. And then what town, town do you live in? And we've got a... a this is, but this is supposed to be a drop-down box, which I think will happen when we hit the real survey button. Um, Should be. I know. Um, I know that they're not part of our district, but I know we have some school choice from Randolph, and I know there's another button, but. Put Randolph. In I there. thought I put Randolph in. Am I wrong? Oh, I thought no. I had it in there, but not Randolph. Maybe I did. Is the it. other? Are you able to enter something? Like you could have. Oh. If I was enter. It was a student that came over. Well, if this is a drop down, I don't, I don't know if you could enter. Right. I mean, what, well, what but, I might suggest is just do Royalton, Bethel, other, right. other and then if you selected other, what town are you from? And you just yeah. type it in. Well, yeah, we could do that. That way we don't have to put another list town every in single one. Or whatever, yeah. yeah, the online. Do it as a short school. answer. <clears throat> are they counted? Andrew? Do it, yeah. The online kids. All right, you don't do that now. Right now, that's too much. Okay, you won't do it. Um, okay, put that in the wrong place, but that's all right. Okay, so let's keep going. Personalized learning in diverse pathways. Now, I think I have to erase these. I tried to put something in to put some context in it, and I started it, and, it, and then I just got distracted because there were so many other things going on. So I don't know if you want me to work on those over the, the weekend um, to fill those in. I think they would be pretty much the same from one, from one to another. Language might change a little bit, but I was trying I mean, to... I, I like that paragraph, and I can mm -hmm. certainly help with filling out some of the other ones as well. And I meant to, but... Didn't get around to it. All right, I'll just write myself now. Context. Why don't we try yeah. to have this done by again? Like, it needs to go out next week, like next Monday. Week. Yeah. Um, now, like okay, so where are we? Right. <laughs> so this is high school. Uh, okay, school provides me with strong personalized learning opportunities. There are diverse and flexible pathways available that meet my needs and interests. Um, my school offers a broad array of educational offerings. <coughs> and again, those things are, those are the same ones that I think were similar to what was in the teachers. I can't remember the question. I have participated in the following educational opportunities. Check all that apply. Now this is the high school. So we, we did separate visual arts and put band and chorus and drama. Flexible pathways and early college athletics activities and other. Uh, the only thing I thought of on this, and I, I know it's we have it here, and it, it could apply to the middle school, but we didn't have the uh, shop program. Or is that? Oh yeah. We don't have it. Or we, we do. Have... We have it in both campuses, but it's not on here. I guess. That's oh, why. then it should be. Yeah. Is that what they call it? It's probably. I don't think that's the right word. I, well, right. <laughs> 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 Am I dating myself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, still like it. I don't know the right word, but I don't think that's it. Right. Okay. I think there's woodworking and CAD. I, I don't. We don't have CAD, no. um, but I don't know if they are doing a an actual structured automotive. I know that. Well, kids that's. Will I go wasn't in. thinking. I was more thinking the the wood shop or the not. It's not building trades, but it's they do wood projects or whatever. So. And my husband covered. Some All right. I'll, have STEM, I'll try to figure out. We have. Well, somebody else can somebody else try to figure out what that is and let me know. No, yeah, we called it, it industrial arts. Industrial yeah. arts, yeah. We'll just call it. We we'll go out to the shop here. It'll, it'll Even just. That's I'll, what we call can, it. I'll see if I can get the yeah, course catalog. Can get it. Yeah, it'll say it in there. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to it. Um, What's the password to use? 
I think if you go to partner, it's so I'm gonna yes. let's I'll put um, Andra, I'll go or somebody can volunteer to do that at another time because it's taking yeah, that's too much fine. time yeah. to add those. No. Okay. Yeah. To add no. those. Mm -hmm. So we have I appreciate you a, doing it, but yeah. I just I need to get through this. So yep. Yep. my teachers seem excited about teaching. Mm. My teachers teach in a way that makes me excited about what I am learning. My teachers give me opportunities to use what I am learning in new situations. Um, this is high school. There was some question at the middle school where the kids would really understand what that meant. <clears throat> my teachers teach in a way that helps me to apply my learning to my daily life. I really like that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's personal. Way. And that was the end of that one. And then technology, again, this is high school. The school provides state-of-the-art technology to support my learning. My school has multiple opportunities for me to expand my technology skills. I'm developing technology skills that I will use after high school. Technology was a biggie. And then this was student-adult relationships, and I changed it to just student relationships because I needed it to be broader when we got into it. Mm -hmm. uh, my middle school helped me feel ready for the high school experience. I was excited to go to high school. I have at least one adult at the school that I can depend on for support. I am seen as a valued member of my school. Having students from both Bethel and South, oh, it should just say Royalton and not South Royal. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> WRVHS has been good for me. say that. Is that when you can Well, you know, because there's kids from both and each We school. say South Royalton, even though it's just Well, we've been consistent oh, in I just see. using Royalton. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah. 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 Um, there's kids from both communities, so put both. No, I mean, or the merger. South I just took the There's words off the, yeah, yeah. the article. Oh, oh, North oh, Bethel, oh. South yeah. Royalton. I have made friends at school with students <laughs> from other towns. I feel I am part of the Wildcat school community. Teachers and administrators include student voice and decision making. And please share any additional thoughts. Okay, we'll fix. Mm, good. Then family and community involvement. My family is involved in school activities. You'll see that some of these are identical in different places. Community members are actively involved in my school activities. Who to say my school? Yep. Yeah, I guess school activities could include the extracurriculars, though, which well, that's, yeah. in my school. School might not. Oh, OK. School and. I guess um, when I read activities, I think of them only coming in for activities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. All right. I'm, I'm fine either way. Yeah. So put activities back in, is that what you're saying? Could be school and school activities. Yeah, I was going to say school and school activities. Is for both. Okay. And or. <laughs> and then what would make it easier for families and or community members to be involved in your oh yeah we're asking that question in your school and then please share any additional thoughts and then community connections and partnerships my school has strong connections with the local community I have learned through community and school based partnerships not sure what that flash is And additional thoughts. When we say community, does it matter? Is that like, like, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I was thinking like, is it, does it matter? Are we thinking Royalton, even though, because the high school's in Royalton, or are we thinking like the greater community, or it doesn't even matter, it just means community's in the school. Yeah, that was part of the whole, the point that is comes just down that there's to the community, one school. it doesn't matter where they're coming from. Yeah. Okay. Right. Got it. Yeah. I, think. I mean, you could change one, the local It's one school community that happens to yeah. be more than one town. It's yeah, all good. you could do yeah. that. Local yeah. communities. It's totally. I just had to think it through. Okay, so keep going, and then we get into the choice group. 
Um, and I wrote, if you choose, if you chose to come to WRVHS through the state school choice system or pay tuition to attend WRVHS, please answer the following question. If not, thank you for your input and click on submit. And then we're asking those folks to say, <coughs> answer, why did you choose to come to White River Valley High School and share any additional things? Now, um, Winooski Valley is part of the state school choice system. And you can accept students outside of Winooski Valley, but do you, would you, do you think the students know the Winooski Valley piece better? Or do they recognize that that's part of the state school system? The whole point is just, we chose to come here, we want yeah. your feedback, right? Yeah. So I, mean, I even think like a, a child who has a parent who lives in two towns could fit into this section. Like who, I have a child who what? My, I have a parent who lives in Randolph, I have a parent who lives in Bethel, I choose to be a wildcat. Why are you choosing to be here and not in Randolph? Right, and that would include them because they would be paying tuition. No, they don't have to because they have a parent no, in each parent. town. Oh, well, they have a parent in each town. Right, Got it. And we actually have a, quite a few. We do have some. Yeah, okay. If, yeah, if you're a custodial <laughs> parent. Well, then let's yeah. add that. Yeah. It, now it doesn't matter where the kids sleep. Okay, right. let's, right. Oh, right. let's right. not yeah. do that. Right. Let's just figure out how to fix this. If you chose to come through. You could just say if you chose to come to. White River Valley High School. No matter how. Well, I guess we would want to know. Well, I mean, it, it, okay, just it, how about this? It's through, through state some school sort choice of system, school comma, choice choice. Or paying, paying tuition, tuition. comma, um, other, just other, paying tuition. Or you can um, say if you had a choice to go elsewhere, but you chose to. No, no, because no, that'll encourage here. other people. Why? It'll encourage the ones that we're saying don't fill this out to answer it. It needs to be really clear. If you chose there, paying tuition through the suit. Other residency or options? Other. Mm. Residency options. Ooh, nice, Andrew. Please answer the following questions. Nice one. I think you'd say, if not, continue to the next section because we have the last section, which is the thank you for your. Like, I think weren't we going to have like enter any other general comments you have, and then thank you for participating in the survey <laughs> for the last section. Oh, another. Um, I don't know. This last sure. question. Oh. Like yeah. this, share any additional thoughts would be in section nine, is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Do you want it in both places or just here? I think just, just in section nine is fine. Because. Um, any last minute thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> or, or like we were asking for their specific thoughts about, you know, community connections. Oh, but they, they might they have, have just yeah. general Got it. feedback. Okay. I'm almost like there needs to be a section 10 to do it that way, right? If you have any, any anything else you think we should know. So, yeah. Please add anything you so, think we should do. So, thank you for your input and continue to the next section instead of click on submit and that choice tuition student section. this weekend. <laughs> okay. Go be a green. Um, do we have any sort of general, like, I feel like the merger provided me with more opportunities question? It's going to be hard because there's some kids that don't know what it was like to not be here yeah. For a merger. I mean, I, I think that that's oh, okay, though. Like, yeah, I think. I mean, I think that they can see, like, well, there's kids from Bethel here. Is I think that that's why we me? focused on that part. You know, right. are you. Are there the more things to are there, what, what are the things well, to do? Yeah. 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 But I don't know that they would know in their old high schools if what the opportunities were there. I mean, one. I mean, some kids might feel like. 
you know, I wanted to be on the baseball team, but because there's all these kids from Bethel here, I don't get to be on the baseball team, so we might get, you know. I've like, never heard of anyone being kind of cut from any of the teams. Well, <laughs> I've certainly seen. Just saying. Yeah, no, no, like, no, but yes. Here's you know, the there's, there's 18 kids on the basketball well, team. Well, how, yeah. how about just at the bottom saying, are there anything, other things we should you would like us to know about your about, experience with the merger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be specific about the merger. Does I think that, that a lot of the kids will just mirror what their parents say. Yeah. Like in, yeah. um, in F, but Harlan will talk about, oh, the Tumbridge kids. And it's like, where are you getting that? And yeah. like other kids are saying, you know, it's just, uh, there's yeah. some merit, That's but good. they're all friends. It's That's just there's repeating yeah. things that they hear either in Can school we do or home. Next one now? Yeah. yeah. Are we good with this high school? Do we do it? Um, Oops, Niners got another. <laughs> yeah, I That's just okay. had a couple things. So one, it might be useful to have a section at the beginning where we go through like, you know, did you, have you taken advantage of AP classes? Sports, athletics, like, are they involved in these things so we can oh, see? I thought I put that in there. I thought that yeah. said. Yeah. It, so there's the section about I feel like. I've participated in the following It says I've participated. Oh, I participated. Oh, I participated. Yeah. Okay, sorry, yes. You got that. Okay. I missed that. I thought it was going sorry. crazy for a second. Yeah, me too. I was like, whoa, um, wait a minute. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> and then the only other one that I'd had. Um, was whether we wanted to have a question about, you know, like we have a question about the breadth, but whether we want to have a question about like <coughs> teachers have challenged me or oh, meet me right. where I am or, you know, like something along those lines. Right yeah, like here we are. So in the. I feel appropriately challenged by my teachers. Right. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. My okay. yeah, I like that. I'm so, going to put that. Yeah, yeah. Don't and go there. Just no go to the next what, one. What level student? Mm -hmm. You know, are you, are you challenged to step it up that you can learn that you can do more or be more successful than you are? You know, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. i got to just step out to make a phone call. See if I need to go oh, get my daughter in. or not. It's <laughs> important. Okay, so the middle school. Now this is quite a bit shorter. Um, but let's tackle it. Great, I just finished six, seven, eight. It, on mine, it says check all that apply. Is that really what you want? Or has it been changed since then? In there. Yeah. No. It doesn't I say don't, it up there. It says right. check boxes, so we should be doing it multiple the, choice. The high school one did yeah. also. Oh, it's not. Is it multiple choice or check boxes? I just. It was check boxes. Okay. Um, I just think it's um, a the, Another the, thing: okay. what town do you live in? So if we mm -hmm. took that one from the other survey, which one? The town. Yeah, for the high school survey. From the high school survey, it's more. Yeah, it was much longer. Well, isn't, but well, these, guys, I, I, these I, that, guys are specific areas that we do get tuition folks that are within the SU. I didn't, we didn't add any. So you don't have any? I mean, Sharon right Stockbridge and okay. Ro Rochester. Oh, Pittsfield, Pittsville could be on here. Granville Hancock could be on here. Well, we weren't, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I wondered is the, so why, just add why grid, the lists just were grid, different. Just add it. There's no oh, yeah. 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 Only have three. There, yeah. yeah, but the other was, yeah. Is those the only other two? Randolph, Hancock, and do we have any Randolph? Randolph Here? can't choose here unless there's they have to come an issue. Choice. Well, oh, okay. it's, it's yeah. middle school, so no, they wouldn't. They can't come oh. here unless they're tuition. Right. Yeah. Um, right. So okay. they can choose to come here though from Tumbridge at what grade? I think it's ninth grade. Oh, they can't. Yeah. Okay. yeah no, no, because they're eight. 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 Yeah, yeah, they, I think they have that their own middle school. They go all the way. So. We would, um, I think when we did the merger and everything, they would have freaked out because we would have lost the middle school if kids were going yeah, somewhere okay. else. Okay, keep going. We're down to eight minutes. We don't, we don't have kids. I really want to get out of here on time. I mean, it's getting bigger. Next. Personalized learning in diverse pathways. At my school, I sometimes get to choose what I learn and how I learn it. At my school, I have opportunities to work together with my classmates. My school offers a lot of different classes. I have participated in the following educational opportunities. Check all that apply. 
Emily was saying they haven't had language in a long time, so maybe take that out. Well, it was no. promised in the merger. It's, All right, it's right. been advertised it's, it's forever. In, it's, in right. the, it's in leave the, it in. Uh, uh, right, the Articles of Agreement. It's or yeah, yeah, leave it so. in. Um, and That's just same cool. thing here, wood, wood shop or whatever we Right, and I put that. Uh, so we call it? We just have so to that part out. I've yeah. got that. I in the, the yeah. high school it's referred to as woodworking, there is no automotive class. Right. Okay, in the high school it's called cars. woodworking? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just more of a, some of the kids who do that stuff are supported in exploring right. it. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll have to figure but out. But they have a wood shop and but a they wood do woodworking. program, a woodworking. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. That, and that was my point. That okay. was all. Yeah. Keep going. With some pretty nice. Andrew. Sorry. There's a parade for the. Oh, I can. I can be doing this on the paper too. Good. Sorry. My, I was asking uh, my teachers no, seem okay. excited about teaching. My teachers give me chances to use what I am learning. My teachers teach in a way that makes me excited about what I am learning. My teachers teach in ways that give me chances to move around and use my hands. Mm. <laughs> we, we changed the language to be more middle school oriented. Yeah, that's um, great. How are they using their hands? No. <laughs> well, I feel like that should be like more hands on learning or something. <laughs> well, you can move oh. around and, and smash chances. <laughs> chan Outside give me chances exploration. For hands, on hands on learning. learning. Hands on learning. Movement. <laughs> hands on Movement learning. and hands on learning, sure. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Um, and that's the end of that part. Technology education, the school provides technology to support my learning. We didn't say state of the art because we could just feel with how the middle schoolers would go after that. Mm. Um, student relationships, my elementary school helped me feel ready for the middle school experience. Mm. I have made friends at school with students from other towns. Mm. I was excited to go to middle school. I like that question that they Which asked one? about, have you made friends with the yeah. other towns? Nice, I good. I feel like a valued member of my school. Having yeah. students from both Bethel and again I said South Royalton um, at WRVMS has been good for me. What? Oh, you got to go. You locked out. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. I just, <laughs> oh, I, I didn't thought, know what he meant. I thought, I he thought that was the other guy. <laughs> the, only thing I, <laughs> the, the custodian bang. Okay, okay. I feel guy. part of the Wildcat <laughs> school community. We settled on that because it is the middle school, but they're considered Wildcats, so we're, we're interested in that. Mm -hmm. Teachers and administrators include student voice and decision making. I thought you were waving goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nope. And then uh, my family is involved in school activities. Did we change? No, nope, we didn't. No, we didn't. Okay. And then what would make it easier for families and that, that to be involved in your school? <coughs> connections. My school has connections with the local community. And that was all we did there. And then in choices, if you do not live in Bethel or Royalton, please answer the following question. Otherwise, thank you for your input. Why did you choose to come here? So my only worry, wonder, not yeah. worry, is this asked if we prepared you for middle school? I hope it didn't say that. I try not to say that. No, it would really say. It says ask what time we live in. Never mind. We're fine. I tried to stay away from that. I, was, I wasn't after the academic part. It was after. Is, isn't there an excited question? Yeah, too? it's excited. I thought there was something. It's fine. It's good. Well, no, I want to no, know if there's an excited for question because the there should be. For the middle school. I, How about I, mean, prepared. I just wanted to make sure that we asked what town they lived in. We did. So if yeah. we know what town, okay. if they didn't feel prepared, I want to know where we need yeah, to be we're, okay. job. So okay, I'm going to write middle school. Is there an excited? There was an excited. There was? I love this question. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I do, I, I see the excited one. I do think it would be worthwhile having a 
like I was prepared for the transition to middle school or, you know, something like is our transition planning step up day, whatever we're doing, is that, are we doing a good enough job for that? Um, well, I was trying to get to that yeah. through a different way. I guess I would, that was part yeah. of, I was excited to go to middle school. <coughs> my elementary Wait a school helped me feel ready for the middle school. So that was that. that. My elementary school oh, helped okay. me feel ready for the middle school yeah. experience. 15. Where is that? 15. And That's like the closest. Yeah, yeah. No, I think is that it that academic works. or social or a little was, of both? It was a little of both. Okay. Right, okay. Um, I wasn't after the academic piece. I was mostly okay. after about the social piece and do I know where my lock? Do I have locker? Do I know where it is? How do I do it? So. It's feeling right. Now. Ding. Um. All right. That's it. Mm. With those few tweaks, are we ready to roll? Okay. Or do we want more time? We don't really have more time, but no. we could figure out how to do that. I could make those. I just think if we go have a more like fine, not not big tweaks, but just uh, technical, like did is everything spelled right? Did we right. really make all the degrees get in the right degree section? Yeah. <laughs> um, is everything bolded? And are we going, like, do we want to have section introductions like you have for the one section. I love that, actually. Yeah. yeah. I do okay, like sorry. that. So I'll be happy to do it. No. Well, I'll, I'll try and help you out with that. Okay. I'll try and do some of those as well. Um, I'm going to be on the ferry on Sunday for at least two hours, so I'll have a little bit of time where I do have Wi-Fi and I'm not going anywhere. If you, I mean, we, we should be done by then, so if you think your eyes, I mean, my eyes to look, I know what it's you supposed to, to say, so I'm worthless lunch. right now in the in the looking to see if there are any mistakes. All I'll right, yeah, I'll do a little them. grammatical review. But, but yeah, <clears throat> I, I have another kind of aside. Can I make copies of the survey, not after we get answers to it, and share with FBUD, uh, with the school board, and with Janet? Because we have to uh, work on some community relations and try, trying to get people on board so that we have a better understanding of budgets and understanding what's going on in the school. Is you that mean okay? The, the data? Yeah, you know, I don't I don't need to give the data, just the actual the service survey really itself. Yeah. No, this I, is what we're doing yeah, and I think that, that yeah. F could, could What benefit. is that? I'm sorry. Uh first branch. So oh. part of the SU but <laughs> Different you know, district. Yeah. <laughs> what is it called, this rud? We're all used no. to all this <laughs> jargon. That's, so that's good. Yeah, no, Janet, I'm with that. Janet, I'm stealing and Janet work. Cash is the principal down there. So. Yeah, no, oh. I mentored her as well. So I, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just um, part of your system, sort do, of. But anyway, so, <laughs> Andrew, do you have time, do you think, between now and Sunday to <clears throat> work on some of that? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. Do you want to um, Do you want to email me and let me know how you want to help? So we're not working um, on the same thing? Yeah, I mean, I, do you, you want to, I mean, I assume, like, we could be able to see each other's edits in yep. the document. So, like, if there's a section that doesn't have anything, then we'll put, put it, it in. in. Okay, <laughs> that works. That works. Yeah, um, I'm going to, I have tomorrow, but then I'm going to Massachusetts to be in Grandma. Yeah, I'll probably pre be pretty busy this weekend as well. Stuff. Yeah. But Monday, we should be ready to roll. And my plan is to get this to Jamie on Monday. He said to send it to him, and then he would make sure that it got to the people it was supposed to get to, and I would get the, the, um, yeah, whatever. Oh, I'll give him the, what the plans were, but we'll get that out. So I think, I think bravo, good meeting, we, holy smokes. Do we have a quorum now? Do we want to approve the minutes of last doesn't that, can be, that can be done next okay. time. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just asking the question. No, I think it's a very okay. fair question. Yeah. That's fine. We'll and um, adjourn on. So the All next right. meeting Somebody will be. Somebody want to say adjourn? Yeah. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Right. And next meeting date is. I'll second. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. Somebody want to look and see what that is? Uh, comes up in my calendar. Oh. Yeah. The and I'm wondering, 13th, 13th, just while you're looking 13th. that that up, I can't. There's a retirement party that night for the schools. Yeah, one there's of there's also a middle school end of year dance, and I think that's their middle school graduation. I, I think if Emily was saying that right, mm -hmm, right? Okay. Is it a dance followed by graduation? 
weeks. Um, would people June. be able to do Tuesday? Like, was that an option? Work or Monday, Wednesday? Can, Can I be excused from faculty meeting? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't think Jeff would actually have a problem, but... Um. Tuesday would be good. Tuesday. This happens after faculty meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I have a, we have to get kids home, yeah, kids yeah, in the yeah, basement, yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah. the like juggle, the all the things. Tuesday the 11th. So the 11th is the middle school new family information night, so I'm going to assume that's going to happen in here. Okay. 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 The 12th? I can't do the 12th. I've got soccer practice. Mm. At least unless we did it later in the night. Well, do you want to do another one, push it off to the other week, and then do a, no? Well, that's the last week of school, so there's going to be stuff. There's so much crammed into it. And graduations that weekend. Uh, yeah. What? Mm -hmm. um, graduation? The 14th. The 15th. It's the 15th. 15th. Last day of school for oh, high school is the 14th. i got to go to that this year. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Tough stuff, huh? <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know... <clears throat> Retirement's over at six, so I could come for the last hour on the thirteenth if you want to just go ahead. I mean, there's enough. Hopefully, uh, there there's was some middle for, school. I think that. Oh, I mean, that's that's it's, it's middle their, school graduation. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. And there's dance, but I mean that doesn't mean we can't. How about Monday the seventeenth? Do so, it. Just Emily won't be able to come. Okay. Probably. Oh, I, I could do the seventeenth. I mean, I think what we'll be looking at, we'll be looking at the family stuff and then um, looking at next steps for the remaining data categories, which I could, we could do that with whoever could make it. Okay. So just keep it Thursday the 13th? I'm, I'm tempted to keep it. <clears throat> okay. Well, and, then, can, um, and then I'm going to have to make special home. arrangements for the, for the 27th. So. so the 13th? Thursday the 13th at 5.30. Oh, I realized uh, I hadn't noticed this on the calendar. But and if people are coming, I don't know, um, oh, you Jeff, are you good with staying with on the family one? Staying with that or you want? Um, do you want, you, you want me to I just kind of finish going over it? Well, no, we need to, we need to create that. Okay. I, why did I think we had some? Stuff we do have some. Oh, okay. we, have a, we have Mary's draft. That's all we okay. have. So I'm just looking. We can go with that same well, group. Of I guess people that's where I was confused and asking about the elementary. Was yeah. it didn't seem like there was a, a Let's family. Let's just stay with the group one. that we have, so, and then yeah. with the next round of stuff, we'll get some more flexible. Okay. So, okay. Are we good. Yep. Uh, all right. Here. Well, congratulations. You've done a lot of stuff at here. Seven oh five. Um, so for the minutes, we uh, called the order at 532. Thank you. And then usually yeah. just have like a list of who's present. Yeah, I got that. Okay. But um, did you <sighs> call the meeting to order, Andrew? Susan? Yeah. yeah. So today, and we did not approve the minutes because we didn't have a quorum for them. Oh, wow. That's how <laughs> no public comment. <laughs> no, it's totally good. It's it was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I just got to I just started to glaze over.